So in this episode, we're gonna be breaking down all the material for the face frame for both the upper and lower cabinets. Let's get started. So now that I've broken down all the sheet goods for our cabinet, I'm gonna move on to the face frame material. In this case, I've just got some poplar. It's gonna be painted. So one of the questions I get asked a lot about Festool system is how you break down narrow stock with the TS-55 and the guide rail. One of the biggest concerns you have when you're ripping narrow stock like this, this is only five and a half inch material, is making sure you got support underneath the guide rail. So what I do is I've always got a piece of material that's the same thickness as the piece that I'm cutting down to put underneath the back side of the guide rail. So that when I'm ripping, I've got full support underneath both sides of the guide rail. So I've already gone through the process of calibrating the parallel guides to the guide rail and to the saw. If you wanna know more about that, check out the link in the description. I've gone ahead and taken off the 28 tooth blade and I put on the 48 tooth blade. So these boards have already been surfaced all four sides, so I don't need to worry about it getting a fresh clean cut on the edge. I've got my parallel guide set to two inches, so now I'm ready to cut. So I just needed one two inch piece, now I can switch it to an inch and a half. So as I get these pieces cut, I will just move them back behind the other piece. Then as I slide my guide rail forward, I've got support underneath the entire guide rail. So I've got all the pieces cut out of that first board that I have. And this is the remainder that I've got left. So that's my scrap. Now I can just continue and finish the rest of my cuts. So now we've got all of our pieces ripped to width. Now we can move over to the capex and cut them down to length. I've got it built into my cabinet system. I can still take this on and off and use it on our UG stand if I need to. But now we're ready to start cutting. So with all the face frame material broken down, we've got our sheet good material broken down, I can move on to some of the decorative parts of the cabinet. A bead board uh, for the back panel. To continue the build, click here or check this out and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> 